Math 31, welcome to example eight. So we're gonna read through this and I want you to be on the listen for what are the variables in this problem. So we have an animal shelter has a total of 350 animals comprised of cats, dogs, and rabbits. If the number of rabbits is five less than one half the number of cats, and there are 20 more cats than dogs, how many of each animal are at the shelter? All right, so taking all that in, right? how many variables do I have? Well, I see the question is asking how many of each animal are at the shelter, and they mentioned that they have cats, dogs, and rabbits, so those must be my three variables. So as soon as I identify that I have three variables, I need to find three equations that go with it so I can get my three by three system. So I see this is a three by three and I'm gonna start naming variables. So X is gonna be equal, I'll let that be the number of cats only because they listed cats first. So X can be the number of cats in the animal shelter. I will let Y be the number of dogs. And go ahead and feel free to use quote marks. I'm highly, I'm all for using quote marks. You've heard me, heard me say many times, I'm super lazy, so I'm always gonna use quote marks here. Z, it looks like it's the number of rabbits. So let me write number of and we'll go rabbits. I mean, there's times when even I get tired of writing quote marks. That's how lazy I get, love it. All right, so I have three variables. There has to be three equations floating through here. So let me just start taking a look at the numbers, right? Just offhand, I can see a 350, a five, and a 20. So I, I've gotta use those numbers somehow. It says an, an, animal shul shoulder, an animal shelter has a total of 350 animals. So if I was gonna talk about the total number of animals, well, it's 350, but the total number of animals is the combination of the number of cats, number of dogs, and number of rabbits. So when I take a look at my first equation, I can hear that we have X plus Y plus Z must be equal to 350. Again, that's the number of animals in the shelter. That expression would represent the total number of animals. All right, now I hear if the number of rabbits is five less than one half the number of cats, so something I notice, I see the is, I see the less, and I see one half. So I know whenever I see is, that's gonna be an equal sign. If they're talking about the number of rabbits, that must be Z. So Z must be equal to five less than one half the number of cats. Well, when you say one half the number of cats, that's implying multiplication, right? I want half the number of cats. Um, we've seen versions of this problem where it might say twice the number of cats or triple the number of cats, and that also implied multiplication. Well, this is the same idea. This time it's half the number of cats. And the number of cats was x, so this will be one half x, and I need five less than that. So I know z is equal to one half x minus five, all right, and then we have there are 20 more cats than dogs. All right, so 20 more cats than dogs. So if I'm seeing cats and dogs, I'm gonna be using X and Y. And I, I like to take a step back from this and forget about the number, but just there are more cats than dogs. Okay, so X is a larger number than Y. And if there are 20 more cats than dogs, all right, then I need to take the number of dogs and add 20 to it. So I know that cats are dogs plus 20 because there are 20 more cats than dogs, right? So 20 more cats than this dog number that we have at y. All right, so I see my three equations, right? I have three variables, I have three equations. Now, you can solve these either using substitution or using elimination. I'm gonna opt to use substitution for this problem. Just the way these are set up, they're not really ready to go for elimination. If I wanted to use elimination, because you do have that option, you absolutely could solve these with elimination. What I would do is I would move the one half x over. So I would have negative one half x here plus zero y plus z was equal to negative five. And I would move the y over. So I would have x minus y plus zero really equals 20. So I would get it, so I would work these equations or at least um, manipulate them so that I only had the constants 
to the right of the equal sign. I just don't feel like doing that, especially since these are already set up, they're already solved for a certain variable, so I'm just gonna plug those in. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug in z being 1 half x plus 5, and I'll plug in x equaling y plus 20. So let me see if that gets me somewhere. Now, I, I just wanna be clear that this might not be the right path to go. And we kinda of need to become comfortable with, well, if I go down a path and I kinda of loop on myself, that's okay. We just try something slightly different. So here's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with my basic equation. x plus y plus z is equal to 350. And I'll do this one step at a time. So instead of x, I'm going to write y plus 20. So I will sub out x with y plus 20, and I still keep my y plus z, and that should be equal to 350. And let me just take a look at what happened in step one to step two. Here I had three variables, right? And here I only have the two. So that's a step in the right direction, because really what I wanna do is get this down to one variable. So let's see if we can keep on boggling this down. Can I get this to go away? Well, what do I know about z? I know z is 1 half x minus 5. Okay, so let me head this way on this problem. I'll keep my y plus 20. I'll keep my y, but instead of z, I'm going to write 1 half x minus 5. All right. Now, if I take a look, I still have two variables, right? I, I had two variables here. I had a y and a z, and now I have y and x. So I haven't gotten it to where I need to, to be, right? I still need to get rid of one of these variables, but don't forget that we know what x is equal to, and specifically we know what x is equal to in terms of y. So when I do this, I'm gonna say, well, I know a y plus 20, right? I had my y plus one half. Now, instead of x, I'm going to write y plus 20. Don't forget your minus five, and that should be equal to 350. And that, is awesome because now we can see that I have one equation and one variable and now I can solve for y. So let's start to, I'm gonna distribute first and let's see what we get. So I'm looking at y plus 20 plus y plus one half y, all right? When I distribute the one half to the 20, I'm looking at 10 minus five is equal to 350. All right, now before I run out of room, let me go ahead and just scooch this up a little bit so we can see what I'm working with, okay. All right, so let's see. In terms of like terms, I have a y, a y, and a one half y. So that looks like two and a half y. Now you can write this, if you're more comfortable, write 2.5y. Maybe you wanna leave this as a fraction and write five halves times y, it's up to you. All right, I see I have 20 and plus 10. 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 minus five is 25, so I have 2.5y plus 25 is equal to 350. When I subtract the 25 over, I'm gonna get 2.5y is equal to 325. Then I'm gonna go over to my handy dandy calculator and let's see, we will take 325 and I will divide that by 2.5 and it looks like I'm seeing that y is equal to 130. All right, so we get from here that y is equal to 130. And that's great. Now, that's not my entire answer. That is just the number of dogs. So I can see right here that I have 130 dogs at the shelter. All right, so from there, let me scooch this down and see where we came from. If I can get that all in view, I can. All right, so if we take a look at where we came from, if y is 130, I know x is equal to y plus 20, so I know that x is gonna be 130 plus 20, which means I have 150 cats. So I'm gonna scooch this back up. I know I'm gonna scooch a bunch in either direction, but let's go ahead and make sure we get that taken care of. So this implies that x is equal to 130 plus 20, which will be 130, oh no, that's not true. I can add, that is 150, excuse me, cats. All right, I have X and Y now. All I need is Z, so let's go see what formula we had for Z. Let me again scooch this back down. All right, so if I take a look at Z here, Z is saying, what do we have? One half X minus five 
Well, we just found x. x was 150, so half of 150 is 75, and 75 minus 5 is 70, so let me go fill that in. And I think we're getting pretty close to an answer, or a complete answer. All right, so there's that. So from here, we know z is equal to 1 half times 150 minus 5. So again, that's 1 half times 150 is 75. 75 minus 5 is 70 rabbits. All right, so now I've solved for all of my animals. All right, and let's just check and make sure our equations are working. And then I'll write up my answer for my sentence. If we look back at the original equations, all right, I should have, oh, let me scooch this back down, I apologize. Let me scooch this down first and then we'll talk about it. All right, so if we go back to the original equations, and it's always good to go back to the original equations and just check your work at the end. All right, was it true that x plus y plus z was equal to 350? Well, let's see. For x, we had 150 cats. For y, we had 130 dogs. And for z, we had 70 rabbits. Yep, that was equal to 350. Is it true that z is equal to 1 half x minus 5? Well, let's just test that out. Let's do 1 half of our cats and subtract 5. And sure enough, that's 70. And that was what z was equal to. And then let's just check y plus 20. If I take y, which is 130 dogs, and I add 20 to it, I am getting 150 cats. All right, so once we're there, now I'm going to scooch all the way to the bottom, and we're going to write up our sentence, everyone's favorite part. So from here, I know there are 150 cats, and then we had 130 dogs, and we had 70 rabbits in the animal shelter. Okay, so there's our first look at a three by three with a word problem. And these can be really tricky. It's a lot to manage. You have to identify the three variables. Then you gotta get the three equations. Then you gotta decide, do I want elimination or do I want substitution? And it really depends on the, the, the makeup of those three equations. All right, in example seven, I definitely wanted elimination. And in eight, personally, I wanted substitution. All right, we got one more of these to try. I'll catch you in a bit, bye.